Good morning. Uh, so this morning, uh, good news from Dell. We are uh, we are moving along here with some of the art and some of the final uh, pieces before we begin to assemble the actual book layout. So uh, Dell has completed a uh, character sheet. Uh, you can see that here. Pretty cool. Um, this may get further refined by the artists, but if not, this would be fine for our game. And our game is so is so simple. You can snatch an index card, jot down name, profession, uh, and their attributes, um, purse rating, etc. However, I, I, we, we want a character sheet, and I would love the back page of our hardback color book to be the character sheet, so you can just lay it on a on a on a scan or whatever, and zap it. And there'll be a PDF as well. But I think this looks great. Um, uh, we have condition tokens, which remind you of the condition you're in and how many steps you have before you are dead. We have the most important piece is who are you and what is your what is your calling or your profession. Um, and then of course the attributes, which are uh, applied to all dice checks to defeat a difficulty value. Very simple uh, system. Uh, and then we have our ratings, which are derived from these and from your profession. If you happen to use a profession that's in the book, outlined in the book, you can in, you can make your own profession, you know, uh, uh, of the era, so to speak. Uh, wander, you know, traveler, whatever. But they might not have a bonus to any of these. And then down here we have our uh, again our derived ratings. Uh, the purse rating is just the value of your character. What, how much silver he might be jangling around with it to to make simple bartering uh, or or trade transactions. Inventory rating is how much you can actually physically carry on your body um, and uh, uh, before you are limited. There is no encumbrance, so to speak. You can only carry on your person a certain number of items uh, based on uh, a derived attribute. And then, of course, combat rating, which is, again, it sums up your body with the, with the weapons and armor you have into a, a bonus modifier that is a single highest bonus modifier that is applied to the dice when you are in actual martial combat. Then the equipment you may have on you, which would be tied to inventory rating, and then stored items, stuff you might have if you owned a home. Uh, stored items could be seen as property, right? Um, we could actually retitle this maybe property, a uh, house, castle, because again, like uh, like Brian's character in our Chronicles, he's a he's basically has a family estate, a family home, so he could list his family estate uh, you know, uh, six cows or whatever. I mean, he could actually list kind of his values property and then notes. This would be friends. This would be things in the campaign or chronicles or session that are important to you, but it's great. It looks great. I love this, uh, text. Dark Age of Man looks fantastic. I love the border. It's brilliant. I think he has an artist friend that was going to do the border for the whole book. I'm not certain how we're going to be able to apply that. Uh, to the book that will be again we have to let the artist uh, and uh, uh, Dell and uh, Brian who is our book he's basically our editor and our book layout design man uh, is Brian so this is gonna be great fun um so we're getting close Derek uh, Adele ensures me this morning that Derek is uh, fine he's cleaning up all of our art before we submit it uh, and start putting it in the book with a layout the book has been done there's some stuff that still needs some minor editing. We certainly have to get our credits page completed. Uh, Dell is, is working uh, to get, hopefully, hyperlinks for our PDF, which is very cool. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, I Again, this stuff's way over my head. Um, that is not my forte. But uh, I hope I hope we can. That would be very cool for our PDF to have hyperlinks. Be great. Uh, then of course we will provide this as a free PDF download. We'll provide maps as free PDF uh, free PDF downloads from Drive Through RPG. So you'll be able to go snatch maps, snatch the the uh, character sheets. And uh, again, we're going to hopefully continue to put up supplemental material like cheat sheets as PDFs, um, ideas, campaign ideas, chronicle ideas sheets, stuff like that. But the point is. Once we get all the art, uh, then we're ready to start laying out the book, and then I'll 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 do some final. Hopefully, uh, there may not be much we have to do to the book at some point. Um, you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll look at the art, but I'll look at the uh, text, and we'll make sure everything is as good as it's probably going to get for 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 you know my level of of uh, ability, right? Um, as I am not a technical writer, so to speak, but we can get most of that cleaned up. But it's the credits we need to make sure are done. And we did get our forward. Uh, we have uh, uh, the, the the person we requested to write a forward has done so for us. And so that will be in the in the in the front of the hardback book as well. So stay tuned. Dark Age of Man uh, will be done and we will provide it. It's going to be ama amazing. And I'm so proud of 
of of of uh, the work. I'm proud of what we've done, Dell and I, and I'm proud of all the artists who have contributed and Brian's help in in walking us through stuff and helping us with the actual book. It's just it's so cool. It's a wonderful uh, com in a way in, in very much a community uh, project. And uh, all of those who contributed adventures and all of those who contributed writing, like Mark Kernow uh, and his Seven Truths of the Dark Age of Man with his random tables. It's so it's such a great effort. And uh, so I want to uh, I want to give an update on Dark Age of Man and uh, where we're at. And uh, I can't give a date. I, I just don't know how long it would take us to fully uh, uh, get the book put together. And and then, of course, peruse it for final for final edits and then submit it to to be actually um, uh, made available as a uh, print on demand hardback color book so it's gonna be cool and again I'm hoping this will be the back page or something like this I think I think we have uh, Todd I think our uh, other artist Todd I think is is maybe going to uh, look at this and, and and do some tweaks I don't know this would be uh, fine uh, as far as um, and I love this. I love this art in the middle. It's just so cool, right? It's just so cool. We got the roots. The, of the, uh, it is, is. It is so. It is. It is so metaphorically Dark Age of Man, right? We have the base of role playing with the roots and the foundations of the craft, and then we have this thing that we call random seeds that are naive and they have to be brought. The seed grows this tree of unlimited butterfly effect results for your open world naive uh, uh, chronicle campaign single session gameplay this is a brilliant metaphor here whether uh, I mean Dale probably didn't mean it that way but it is a perfect metaphor for Dark Age of Man right we we plant a seed and from that with the players grows this thing with all of these different branches and directions and it's uh it is a, it's a fantastic uh, character sheet I love this art and the borders fantastic very very cool so anyway um, I would love to see, I don't know if you can, I would love to see, this is probably hand-drawn, the Dark Age of Man may be hand-drawn, but I would love to see this, I would love to see this font for all of the font here on the page. Uh, it, I, the key would be to see the same font in all the text. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Everybody out there have a wonderful week. Uh, we will be playing Simba Room tomorrow night. I look forward to GMing that session, and then Saturday, hopefully, if all goes well, we will be playing the third uh, chronicle of Dark Age of Man with Brian, Sam, Adell, and I as the presenter. And uh, I cannot wait. It's been a while. I've been, you know, traveling, then under the weather, busy with some schedule stuff. It's just been nuts. But um, I'm looking forward to the upcoming year. Thank you for watching. Good day.